leaders of the Senate Intelligence Committee are backing the appointment of a special counsel on Russia, but Republican Chairman Richard Burr and the ranking Democrat Mark Warner say that their panel's own investigation will go on. Democratic Senator Jack Reed of Rhode Island is a member of the Senate Intelligence Committee. Thanks very much, Senator, for joining us Thanks, today. Thanks, Jim. So looking at this now, I know that the Dem Democrats are, are welcoming uh, the appointment of a special counsel. As a practical matter, though, does this appointment, in effect, overshadow the Senate probe? It doesn't overshadow it. They're complementary. The uh, special prosecutor will be pursuing criminal charges, investigations with the full power of an investigative officer, the power to subpoena, to compel testimony, uh, much more so than uh, the powers that we have in the Intelligence Committee. Our view is also to get the story. Uh, but also to do it in the context of uh, what we have to do to uh, change United States laws, to change policies, to provide resources so that we not only can look backwards but also forward. Uh, this is a threat, this Russian threat is not just a, a history, it, it's uh, pending for our elections going forward. So both investigations are complementary. Let me ask you this because, because uh, as I understand it, uh, Mueller, as the special counsel, now decides, for instance, what the FBI shares with you and your committees. I know there'd been some frustration early on about how quickly, for instance, the intelligence community was sharing relevant documents, et cetera. I know that that's no longer the case, but, but does this mean you're going to be, you're likely your committee will have less access to, to the latest discoveries in the investigation, et cetera? I don't think there'll be any less access. I, I, again, we have to go ahead and uh, ask the agencies to provide us information. Uh, they have to comply with their rules, and the rules of the FBI are a bit different than some of the intelligence communities. We've made progress in getting cooperation with intelligence agencies. We're similarly pursuing uh, cooperation with the FBI, uh, but uh, I don't think his appointment will uh, slow us down. In fact, I think he will be. Uh, I think cooperative and in fact I have no doubt he will be cooperative. Now what about in, in terms of public testimony since the revelation of memos written by James Comey after this this meeting with the president where, where he took it that the president was telling him to lay off the investigation into Flynn uh, great interest in his public testimony including before your committee have you heard from the former FBI director has he answered your request to come testify? What I have heard is through uh, the chairman and the ranking member that he is very much interested in testifying. The question is the appropriate time. Uh, but my sense is, again, through uh, uh, their uh, comments, is that uh, this is not a question of if but when. Okay. And, and the fact that there's now a potentially criminal investigation underway would not prevent him from coming before the Senate to give public testimony about this? I don't think it would prevent him. I think it, uh, it might uh, circumscribe the, the detail or the questions that he could deal with, but uh, he is, again, a very knowledgeable lawyer himself, and I don't think he would do anything that would either jeopardize the, the an ongoing investigation or uh, in some, play, some way complicate the, the process of justice. You know, Senator, there's a contrarian point of view that to some degree the appointment, appointment of a special counsel is sort of good news for the Trump administration in that one they can now refer all questions to the special counsel say listen not a question for me talk to the special counsel and, and and two that because the special counsel works in secret that uh, you know a lot of this information has been coming out as you know by some public comments some leaks etc that this might put a damper on that do you think that's an accurate uh, assessment of how this might go forward well, that might be a possible consequence, but I think the, the best news is for the American people because they were increasingly uh, worried about the direction this investigation was taken. Would it be partisan? Would it be a series of uh, accusations back and forth? And now with Director Mueller in charge, I think everyone can have confidence that there's a professional with great integrity who understands the FBI very well, who understands the criminal justice process very well, and who I believe is committed to uh, following the facts and the law to uh, the appropriate conclusion. So I think that's the, the, the best outcome that's taking place here, and it's a good one. Final question for you, Senator Reid. You're aware, of course, uh, of Mr. Trump, President Trump's tweets this morning calling himself the most uh, unfairly treated president, politician, rather, in history calling the special counsel investigation a witch hunt. What's your reaction to those comments from the president? I think they're inappropriate, frankly. Uh, 
the Russians uh, involved themselves in our campaign. That is the conclusion of our intelligence communities, uh, public conclusions. Uh, they have demonstrated the willingness and the ability to involve themselves in other campaigns. Uh, we've had testimony recently that they, they expect this to be the new norm, that they're going to come into uh, the elections in 18 and the presidential elections in 2020. So that the notion that this is uh, all about the president and it's uh, he's the one who's being uh, the object of this is, is not appropriate. This is a, a, a crisis, basically, with respect to our institutions of governance, our democracy. We cannot allow a foreign entity, any foreign entity, to come in and wield decisive influence on an election. So this is not about one person, even the president. This is about the health of our democracy. Senator Jack Reed, thanks very much. Thank you.